Uh, Good afternoon. I'm very happy to be here with you today uh, and to wish you well on this incredible trip. Um, but before I begin, I want to ask Joseph Hoyer to please stand up and show your face. Joseph, say hello. Hey. I apologize. I apologize, Joseph, for putting you on the spot, um, but we want to acknowledge you as the year of the Inuit ITK ambassador on this trip, so thank you very much for that. As mentioned, my name is Melissa Irwin. I represent Inuit Tapari Kanadame, Canada's national Inuit organization. Our president, Mary Simon, asked me to speak to you on her behalf today. Mary is a great supporter of Students on Ice, and, and she and her grandson, Jordan, who's also here with us today, uh, were able to do the very same trip three years ago. Uh, Mary would have loved to be here to speak with you today, but she came down with her flu uh, just yesterday on her way back to Ottawa from uh, Churchill, Manitoba flying back uh, from the Premier and Aboriginal Leaders meeting. Um, you won't be traveling to Churchill, uh, but you will be stopping off in Mary's home community of Coup Drop Nunavik in northern Quebec. And now, on uh, Mary's behalf, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Canada's Inuit population and what you can expect to learn about our land and our water on this life-changing trip. For some of you, I suspect this trip will be your first visit to the Arctic, and for others, the Arctic is your home. This is a wonderful time in your life to discover the wonders and magic of the Arctic environment. I hope this trip will be the first of many, and that it will awaken you in you a desire to work with Inuit to address the most pressing threat to our surroundings and our way of life, climate change. The Arctic is our homeland. We call it Inuit Nunaga. Inuit have developed a culture and language deeply rooted in our physical surroundings. The Arctic defines who we are, in turn, our presence and way of life help define the Arctic. They are, there are approximately 55,000 Inuit living in Canada, spread throughout 53 Inuit communities. The Arctic, believe it or not, is one-third of Canada's land mass and approximately 50% of Canada's shoreline. Inuit are a solid majority of the permanent population in the Canadian Arctic as a whole and in all communities, with the exception of Inuvik and Yakaluri. We've lived in the Arctic since long before historical records. Archaeologists are still debating how far back Inuit occupation of the Arctic can be traced and the complex interconnections among the pre-Dorset, Dorset, and to the Inuit cultures. All very important stuff, but we know from our own legends that we have been in the Arctic for a very, very long time. As you know, the Arctic is at the center of this climate change crisis. The rate of war warming is unprecedented, <coughs> and it will continue. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has identified the Arctic as one of the most vulnerable regions of the world. The effects of, the effects of global warming are being felt on a day-to-day -day basis in the Arctic. The scientific predictions for what we can expect in the Arctic region 
in the not so distant future are alarming. The Arctic is melting. We fear for our future as human and we fear for the planet. Yet we are not content to be portrayed as victims of climate variability and change. We want the opportunity to be part of the solution. In fact, successful adaptation to challenges and change in large part defines who we are as Inuit. Our message to the world is this. Inuit are not bystanders of this complex crisis. As Arctic people, we are at the epicenter of climate change. But this is our message to you today. You are our youth, you are our future. During this International Year of Youth, this year that, Inuit, that ITK has declared the Year of the Inuit, I want you to embark on your trip with a sense of optimism. I want you to be empowered, empowered to learn and to know that you can make a difference. And I want you to understand that this climate crisis affects us all and that we are all responsible for solving it. Bon voyage on behalf of Mary Simon and ITK. Thank you for being